The residents of North Riding in the northern part of Johannesburg have been faced by constant power outages on top of the rolling blackouts by ESCOM. They are now calling on City Power to deal with the issue urgently. Today, the community's councillor will hold City Power Management at a public engagement. And Kosa Zanatambuza is following that story for us. She can tell us the latest about this engagement. Good afternoon, Nkosa Zana. What's happening in North Riding? Well, Brad Dan, City Power officials are gathered here outside of school in North Riding to publicly meet with residents um, over challenges in terms of electricity in the area. Um, residents say that there is no restoration of power after scheduled load shedding or rolling blackout hours. And some residents even told me that they've been without a power supply for almost two weeks now. And City Power has today attributed some of those challenges to cable theft and vandalism, uh, as well as rain that they say causes damage to some of the cables but for more on this I'm joined by uh, Nancy Malulege who is the acting CEO of City Power thank you so much for your time now you've promised these North Riding residents today that you will have cleared the backlog by November or by the 11th of December rather um, what is the plan in terms of achieving this thank you so what we've done uh, we've um, uh, crafted our project plan uh, based on short-term medium-term and long-term solutions so what we've done is uh, take uh, from short-term perspective to fix the immediate problems uh, from network uh, configuration uh, perspective where we are going to shift load to where there's capacity and at the same time be able to fix the cable uh, faults. And uh, when it comes to the cable theft, we are working on uh, partnering with the community from a security perspective we are also initiating intelligence uh, security measures where we can go and investigate proactively what the syndicate is or who the syndicate is in the area. Now talk to me about the application that City Power has made to ESCOM mm -hmm. uh, to increase capacity which will see a better supply of power in this area? Yes, so that is our medium term plan. We are increasing uh, capacity because when we shift loads uh, from one substation to the next, the customer numbers there uh, create an overload. So what we are doing is to increase the capacity of the transformers to be able to cater for the additional customers that were not uh, part of the original design. Thank you so much, Nancy Maluleke, who is the acting CEO of City Power. So I'm just going to bring in now uh, the local ward councillor. Thank you so much for your time, Rolf. Um, you know, I spoke to some of the residents earlier. They are very frustrated about the situation. Uh, City Power has come out to now address you publicly as the community. Are you satisfied with everything they've said today? Uh, personally, I am because, I under, uh, you know, having been on infrastructure for 15 years, I understand where they're coming from. And uh, it was rather a high level, technically a high level uh, uh, presentation. Um, the frustrations are still there. Um, but we're finding a way forward, and that is the main thing. And, uh, you know, it, it, things don't happen overnight. Uh, now we're talking short term, 11th of December, then we're talking medium term going into April next year. Uh, people must be l allow for that as well. You know, when, when outages happen, I get 500 calls immediately. And I'm, I'm quite happy to be a call center for the people, but the the frustration and the really the swearing and whatnot that uh, that that we're being subjected to uh, is is really killing the messenger and uh, that doesn't help anybody so i promised a couple of weeks ago that we would have a public meeting we've got the public meeting a lot of answers you can see them in the background we are still answering a lot of questions uh, i think we're on about the, the fifth round of questions now and you know, the people have a lot of questions and they're getting answers. And I hope that uh, we, going forward, there's a better understanding from the public as well. But is the community confident that City Power will be able to fulfill its promises and restore a constant supply of power by the 11th of December? Because that's very near. Uh, the the short-term goals till the 11th of December, I'm very confident. Um, City Power is confident. Uh, obviously there's doubt with the residents. I think once they see the results, and already results are showing now already, uh, and I think uh, once the results become clearer, uh, the, the community is going to calm down quite a bit. Mm.
Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ralph Bitkow, who is the local ward councillor, a uh, councillor rather, here in North Riding Brad And as you can see behind me, perhaps let me step out of shot and just show you what is happening. City power officials are addressing the community members who have come out. I think there's about at least 100 people who have come out to hear what city power has to say because they've been living in the dark for almost two weeks now. I mean, I spoke to one of the residents here. She says she runs a church and it's been very challenging to do this without power. She's in fact had to hire a generator, which costs her about 7,000 rand a week, which she says she has, um, um, you know, no money for. In fact, uh, the generator apparently broke down and then she had to then um, cough up another 27,000 rand. So a lot of costs um, that are, are facing this community due to uh, the power outages that occur after uh, the rolling back out. So they're not even actually uh, scheduled power cuts, Brad Dan.